All right, we get to falls. No, this is this is last man standing. Got a little distracted there. Guy Gardner facing Sinestro. This is part three. Forget about part one. Part two. It's always about what happens in part three. For those of you who don't know the history, in the NCA World Title Tournament, these two faced off. Guy Gardner was the victor. Shortly thereafter, Sinestro won the first ever NCA Coast to Coast Championship. And. And. Ah, the music's a little off. But. What happened in part two at Cockade. Sinestro defended his newly won Coast to Coast Championship against Guy Gardner. He retained it under unscrupulous methods. But there you go. And his opponent, from parts unknown, the Fina. By the way, we're, we're going... <coughs> we're doing this by Eastern Standard Time. So there's an actual delay in the audio. So just use your imagination, people. So here we go. Really? They have to pose. Advantage Sinestro. Wasting no time. So Back backstory is, of course, the match is one to one, <laughs> and Guy Gardner made a horrible mistake by posing. Good guys and bad guys both have a habit of doing this. What's up with that? That's my question to all of you. Feel f feel free to comment and reply. So. This is basically the very first ever NCA feud. Granted, there was rivalry before these two were competitors, but as as, as we as before mentioned, two wins, one win by by each man. Sinestro um, Sinestro got in Guy Gardner's face two episodes ago cost him a match against against Akuma making his NCA uh, debut. Guy Gardner off the top rope looking to put an end to this. See if he can hold him down for the 10 count. Huh? Now, for those of you who don't know the backstory, Reagan, President Reagan, the Honorable President Reagan, said, you know, he knew it was a liability hiring both these guys, that they would be in, be in each other's face, but, ladies and gentlemen, that is what makes for compelling caw. Let's see if that will keep Sinestro down for the 10 count. Ah, he picks him up. Knife edge, knife edge, punch. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. And Nestro is looks like he it's the beginning of the end for him. Brightest day! OMFG! Jumpin' Jesus on a pogo, or jumpin' Sinestro on a pogo stick! Literally, 
in the literal sense. Ref count one, two, three, four. He's up to two now. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Snesser up at seven. And just as quickly as he was down, he's back on his feet and he has the advantage. Shoulder tackle. Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner off the top rope. Let's see that again. For the first time. And the ref, is he counting? You see, what happens is when Guy Gardner does that, the ref has to break the count. You just can't beat the guy down till for 10 seconds. DDT by Sinestro. Arn Anderson style. And he suplexes him in the ring, working his back. You work the back, you work the legs. And the advantage will be yours. And the ref, Sinestro off the top rope, kind of a little short-sighted, he missed. But it still has to hurt. He did connect, he just didn't connect all the way. And they're on the table. What's what's he have in store here? Looks like a shoulder tackle of some sort. And the front row fans are, are, are getting a treat, let me tell you. And collar and tie up with Sinestro and Guy Garner and Arbar! Arbar! Darkest Night! Darkest night! Darkest night! Through the table! Let's see that again. Yeah, let's see that again. Um. Yeah, and again. And this is the part where you see Darkest Night performed through the table. This has got to be the end for Guy Garner. We're up to two. And it looks like evil is going to prevail in this one. And Sinestro's taking this time to gloat. Not a smart move. Not a smart move at all. Let's see that again. That elbow drop off the top rope. Because as I mentioned before, when you do that, the ref has to stop the count and begin all over again.
Knee drop. Is he setting him up for the darkest night again? How he is standing is beyond me at this point. Kai Garner somehow standing through all this. The ref's not going to end this match. The only way it's going to end is when you count to ten. The ring steps. Cross body block out of the top rope. Onto the floor. Air Gardner is, is on chart. Somehow still standing. And the ref has to start all over again. I don't know what he has in store here. He should have him with the ring steps and let the ref count. Do his job. But he's not finished with him just yet. Is this what I think it is? Brightest day through the table! Uh, no! Onto the floor! Wow! I said that backwards because it was that impressive! Sometimes you're just a loss for words! No way Jose Sinestro getting up from that! Rep is still counting. We're up to six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Guy Gardner wins. Good for Bills over evil. Good for Bills over evil. And Guy Gardner wins. How is that apples for you, Sinestro Core? Doesn't taste very good now, does it? Once again, Guy Gardner, your winner.